Hello friends, welcome to BC Agriculture. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So let's move to the video. In this video, we are going to see about introduction to agriculture botany. So in this class, we are going to see the first part of the lecture one, which is agriculture classification of crop plants. So while seeing about the agriculture classification, so the may, most of the classifications are made with the use of the plants as well as the plant product products which are made by them to man. So so what are the classification agriculture classifications are they are mainly classified in two 12 categories they are cereals pulses vegetables fruits and nuts oils and seeds sugars and starches fibers beverages narcotic fum fumitories as well as uh, masticatories spices and condiments rubber forage as well as uh, green menus and green leaf menus so these are the 12 classification of agriculture produce in our agriculture classification so the first one we are going to see is cereals so the cereals is said to be derived from a roman word which used to describe uh, which is uh, goddess of harvest so ceres which is a word which is also known as the goddess of harvest and which used to describe the word cereals uh, for example wheat and barley are generally the offerings from known as the offerings made by the god of harvest which is said to be also called as Cerealia Muneri as well as subsequently the grains used for food especially for making bread were also called as cereals as well as Cerealaria in italics so these are applicable to grains obtained from the members of the family or poesie so the example for cereals are rice, wheat, maize, sorghum, foxtail millet, rye wood, etc. and etc. So these are the cereals which used to come to the family Poesiae as well as their classification set to be placed in the family Poesiae. And uh, while seeing about the millets, uh, so they are said to be known as the small grained cereals and uh, also they used to have minor importance in the food. Uh, at the current age as well as the pseudo cereals so which are the cereals which are not present in the family of poesia so these cereals are said to be known as uh, some other um, grains which are said to be placed in some other family species example buckwheat grain amaranthus as well as quina so these are said to be present in the families of chenipodiaceae amaranthaceae as well as chenopodiaceae so that's why, why because of the absence in the poesy family, they are said to be known as the pseudo cereals is the major one point we must need to need about them. And while seeing about the characteristics of the cereals, and uh, they are said to be known as the herbaceous annuals. So it is said to be a seasonal crop as well as the per year crop. So all the crops used to come uh, start in the starts and end within the period of one year. So while seeing about the structural, the stem as well as the curve are said to be erect cylindrical hollow and uh, they do not have the node present at them. And uh, while seeing about them curve which are said to be enclosed with leaf shift in the side regions and uh, there is also a presence of auricle legumes as well as lodicles in the plant structures and uh, majorly the inflorescence is said to be a panicle or spike so the unit of inflorescence is said to be known as the spikelets and uh, other important floral characteristics of the cereals we must need to know are the stamens are usually three but uh, you know only in rice it is six as well as the fruits it's said to be known as a caryopsis uh, for the cereals but in ragi it is said to be known as utricles so these are the major characteristics we must need to know about the cereals and after that we are going to see the second classification which is said to be known as the pulses so it used to be an important food next to the cereals um, and uh, these pulses are said to be said to be known as the seed of leguminous plant so they mainly provide proteins as well as uh, protein uh, as well as uh, they also give uh, helps in nitrogen fixing bacteria in the soil so it is said to be an important chief source in the vegetarian food menus and uh, they also use it to have a high portion of protein in seeds leaves pond, pots as well as the shoots example red gram black gram green gram are the best example for pulses and uh, the third one of classification which is vegetables fruits and nuts 
so these are said to be known as the rich and valuable source of food and uh, they are said to be even classified into different classifications based on the study so the branch relating to cultivation of fruits as well as the study of fruits is said to be known as the pomology as well as uh, in vegetables it is said to be known as olericulture and in ornamental plants it is said to be known as the floriculture so these are the different classifications even in them and uh, while seeing about the oils and oil seeds so they use it to have both the consumption as well as industrial purpose in the human needs and uh, they also find a major human diet portion so these are the only components which used to provide the fat portion to the oil which is supplied means of to the human needs and they are said to be give the necessary energy for the metabolites as well as uh, also increase the taste of the food by adding these oils and oil seeds and uh, in some, even in some cases these um, crops also give the medicinal value example uh, castor oil which is said to be used for some of the medicinal uses uh, for relieving cramps in some human patients as well as while seeing about the industrial uses they are said to be preparation for soaps cosmetic as well as lubrication example sunflower gingelly safflower and groundnut or some of the medicinal valued as well as uh, the industrial valued uh, oil seeds and uh, the sugars and starch so while seeing about them in particularly in india sugar cane is said to be known as the chief source of sugar as well as energy and uh, while seeing about in other countries like europe uh, canada as well as usa sugar beet is said to be known as the important source for sugar in their countries and uh, while seeing about the difference between them Uh, in most of the tropical countries in the sugar cane is it, uh, sugar beet is said to be not popular because of the presence of sugar cane so some of the other sources of sugar crops are palm coconut as well as uh, date palm and uh, while seeing about the particular content the tap or juice from any of the sugar cane sugar beet as well as any other sugar containing crops which is said to be converted into palm gur so it is said to be known as the sugar which is uh, which we are use it for our daily purpose and uh, starch while seeing about it is said to be mainly present uh known as the uh, cereals or majorly providing starch in so rice sorghum maize as well as other cereals and uh, some other starchy foods which we are obtained or potato sweet potato as well as tapioca and uh, while seeing about the starch obtaining food they also have a industrial use of confectionery textile stationery and cosmetic industries and uh, another classification is fibers so i have listed out some of the important uh, fiber crops the first one is cotton as well as linen uh, fibers of jute and mesta as well as coconut fibers so based on their important needs i have placed them so the uh, cotton which is said to be an important fiber crop and uh, also under cultivation in many countries for even many centuries and it is mainly used uh, for the clothing purpose in human needs as well as uh, also for some of the medical uses and uh, after that we are going to see about the beverages so coffee tea cocoa are said to be known as the important beverages all around the world and uh, while seeing about the special characteristics of the beverages they also use it to have a stimulating effect so which is uh, also known as the mind changing effect uh, so which use it to relax us under uh, some of the critical times so while seeing about them coffee and tea are said to be known as the commercial crops which is also used to have export market and cocoa and beverages are said to be uh, used in beverage as well as confectionery items and uh, the other one we are going to see is narcotics uh, fumitories as well as masticatories so the uh, the narcotics which is mainly composed of tobacco ganja as well as opium type of crops and they also used to have produce a stimulating as well as drowsy or, or a numbing effect due to the presence of alkaloid present in them so while seeing about the characteristics of narcotics they used to form a mild mind stimulating preparation as well as uh adjuncts to fermentation so which is a uh, alcoholic one as well as flavoring ingredient to beverages as well as they also said to be known as the mild poisons because of the presence of all chemical characteristics uh, which is harmful to human beings and uh, fumitories which are said to be a substance which is 
used to produce a stimulating effect due to smoking example the best example is uh, cigarettes which is uh, one of the best example for fumitories as well as uh, masticatories uh, for example beetle one and arcanut are best example so this used to produce the stimulating effect once they are chewed so the best example for all the one of narcotic fumitory as well as masticatory tobacco is the best example for all the three so and after that uh, we are going to see the classification of spices and condiments so the spices and condiments are said to be majorly cultivable for its food adjacents so they used to create a flavor aroma as well as taste by the presence due to the presence of essential oils in them so they also have a major dependence in the indian food and uh, they also uh, have a major place in the indian foods uh, also the spices uh, which are said to be giving aroma as well as flavor to the food and the condiments which used to give the taste as well as change the taste of the particular food example pepper cardamom cloves chilies turmeric ginger onion garlic are the example for spices as well as condiments and uh, while seeing about rubber so hevea brazil is a plant which is introduced from brazil so the latex is said to be obtained from the plant and uh, while seeing about the crop the rubber used to have an important role in national economy so they are said to be have many industries which is uh, is said to be in the need of rubber materials some of the other sources of rubber materials are manihot glaziovi cryptosia tarazacum or some of the other rubber producing sources and forages so the term forage include both fodder as well as pasturage so i have um, classified them um, mentioned them into two types the cultivated fodder so the fodder and pastures are um, two different so the, for cultivated fodder the fodder which is said to be harvested and fed to animals so the examples are guinea grass kambu napier lucerne cholam fodder cholam as well as fodder maize are the best example for cultivated fodder and while seeing about the pasture so these are the grass and legumes which are said to be grown in arable land and left for animal to graze on is said to be the uh, known as the pasture and uh, the straw of paddy cholam as well as dry plants of pulse crop and groundnut are said to be known as the important forage and uh, the foliage of number of trees and shrubs which are said to be edible to animals are also an another example for the forage especially in dry areas as well as during in the period of scarcity they are said to be fed to the animals and uh, the last one which is the green menus as well as green leaf menus so i must need to clearly define what is the difference between green manure as well as green men green leaf manure so green manure is nothing but growing of special crops for adding organic matter as well as nitrogen content to the soil by cultivating in the particular field and plowing them in situ is said to be known as green manuring example sanhem colinji indigo sespania speciosa or some of the best examples and uh, while seeing about green leaf manure so these are said to be present in shrubs or trees which are said to be present outside the field so these are said to be collected or harvested from other areas and they are said to be incorporated in the soil and which is used to provide the nitrogen uh, present in the soil so example are glycericidia and ipomoea carnica are the best example for green leaf manure so while seeing about the characteristics of green leaf manure they are usually green manuring plant uh, which are of papilloneous type they are mainly helpful in fixing the nitrogen in soil so i have given the lecture notes in description if you please tell about uh, tell about our video in the comment section and join us in the instagram page so if you like the video and like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to bsc agriculture and hit the bell icon to get regular updates so thanks for watching the video i'll catch you up in next videos